Alright, this is a trip to uh, Harses Island. I've got Craig in front of me, uh, Dan, and then Mike. And we're going to uh, a place called Harsons Island. You have to take a ferry over there. And weather's not going to be the greatest, but it is what it is. And we're going to make the best of what it is. Yeah, we're waiting for our buddies to catch up to us. We just have to wait around the corner here as they approach us here. See we're getting sprinkles right now so There we go. <laughs> well, looks like he's leading anyways. All right, well. <laughs> this worked out pretty good. This is going to be not, not too bad. It's uh, 45 degrees in uh, lovely Michigan. Um, it might try to rain on our parade, but it is what it is, and uh, we're going to make the best of it. That's what rain gear is for. Looking forward to this ride. We're going to take uh, M59 to crash it. And take that, I guess, to 29 or something. Take a jaunt kind of north of the uh, Lake St. Clair, heading kind of towards uh, Algonac. Uh, town called Algonac, Michigan, um, but we'll be a little bit south of that. Uh, then we're going to head uh, south, which takes us on the far east side of Lake St. Clair and the net will um, that will bring us to uh, Harsons Island's ferry and we'll take the ferry over to the island so <clears throat> but uh Dan's uh, joined our group. Uh, he's the uh, fellow that uh, worked on the, uh, his CBT for him, helped him out with it. And uh, we had a good day that day, good camaraderie, camaraderie and uh, just had a great old time. And uh, he um, wanted to get a ride together, which I thought was uh, a real good idea. And, um, you know, just make the best of what we got, you know. The weather's going to be what the weather's going to be. So you, you can't, you just got to get around that. But looking forward to, to the ride and we'll, um, going to try to stop at a cider mill, which is, I guess, I guess a little bit north of where we're at, so... But we're going to take the island, get to the island and do a little riding around it.
man didn't want to be up front, and, uh, the um, leader of the pack here, but <laughs> looks like that ended up happening anyways. But he's doing a real good job at it. It's just been a while since he's done it, he said. And he's doing a fine job. It's really not that big a deal. Um, he's, uh, we've all studied the route to a point, but... Uh, he's, his familiarity is a lot better than ours. Kinda, right now out running the weather, it's coming from the west, just behind me. Seeing a little bit of mist. <clears throat> Gotta be easy in this area. Cops love to hide around here. And M59 here, these, uh, some of these people get nuts riding, driving around here. I mean, it just, this road can be something else. They forget sometimes, I think, that there's a speed limit. See, there they are. They hide, man. They're, whew, they're real good at what they do. But, some still get through the cracks. And that was 53 that we just, I'm going over right now. That'll take you to uh, Imlay City and towards Port Huron and uh, Port Austin area. And then south, it takes you towards, um, you know, the Detroit area, Toledo, that direction. But, I've ridden it uh, towards north of us. Well, I'm going to stop it here, and when we get closer, I'll kick us back on.